The year is 2065 in the Midwest. Generally, life on Earth is very difficult. Rain does not fall. The sun beats down mercilessly. Water comes at a premium price. The cities are overpopulated, leaving rural areas being slowly abandoned. The fields and forests, which used to be lush green and thick, are now barren stretches of unbearable dirt, coupled with dead snags and bone bear stumps. This is the case with land around Junior and Henrietta's place. Four generations before them have lived in the same house and farmed on the same fields. But the good old days are gone, and so are the farmlands. In this present day, the old house, whose paints are already peeling, is just a hideaway that keeps out grits when swirling dust skick up. Junia and Henrietta are survivors. Junia works at a local poultry processing plant, while Henrietta works at a local refiner, but their lives are strained. One day, very late at night, Junia is relaxing in the room with a bottle of beer while Henrietta is tidying up in the kitchen. A car, with very bright headlights, pulls up in their driveway. Junia goes to the window and sees the light. Junior gets hold of his gun then he and Henrietta walk to the door to see who it could be. The visitor knocks on their door. Henrietta asks who it is and the visitor answers saying his name is Terence and he is there to present them a golden opportunity on behalf of a company called Outermore. Terence then explains the reason for his visit. Due to the transformation of the lands and the sea, the government and some important entities have taken the initiative to create another place to live. The government has engineered a new settlement in the form of a space station, Outermore which is orbiting the Earth at that moment. It is a vast base that, eventually, will be humanity's migration spot. A better place leading to a better life. A lottery system has been put in place to create a short list of qualified persons to resettle on the off-Earth habitat. The testing process on the selected candidates takes about two years. While waiting they are expected to continue with their lives. Junior laughs at the idea that he and Henrietta will ever go to Altamore, telling Terence to drive back to wherever he came from if that is what Terence is suggesting. Junior seems to be unsettling with the idea of flying off to another planet in space. Heck, Junior and Henrietta have never been on an airplane before because they are terrified of flying. Although, Henrietta seems to not be totally against the idea of them leaving their hollow place, and her face reveals this as Junior and Terence talk. Henrietta's happy face turns sour when Terence declares that only Junior was selected by the National Lottery because he has the physique and skill set required. Junior asks Terence what will happen if he refuses because there is no way he would fly off to another planet and leave Henrietta alone for a year or two. Terence calmly explains by telling Junior about conscription, which simply means that it is compulsory and not negotiable. After the discussion, Junior sees Terence off to his car. Terence gets in his car and drives off. Junior goes back in the house only to meet Henrietta lying down on the bed ready to sleep. Junior asks to talk to her about Terence's proposal, but Henrietta insists on not being in the mood to talk about anything. Junior attempts to get into bed with her, but Henrietta begs him to go sleep in the guest room, and Junior obliges even though he is not happy about it. Henrietta then says he's up and locks the door before sleeping off. The following morning, Junior gets up and drives to work. Henrietta also takes her bike and goes to work. All through her working hours, Henrietta could not concentrate on work. Later in the night, Henrietta comes to the guest room, half naked, to meet Junior. She begins to romance him and Junior does the same. Henrietta climbs on top of him hugging and kissing him and then whispers that she misses him. They both do the dirty and then sleep. In the morning, Henrietta wakes Junior up with loads of questions about their marriage, which Junior jokingly maneuvers to get her mind off it. Henrietta apologizes for being distant from him, and they both kiss, play and giggle. One year later, Terence comes back and informs them that he would be staying with them for some weeks in order to observe, record and monitor Junior's daily activities being a selected candidate for Altamore. This news greatly upsets Henrietta as she starts scattering the house in the ruse of tidying up because of their visitor. Junior tries his best to keep her calm and tells her to let them spend the little time they have with each other and enjoy it while it lasts. Henrietta starts crying and Junior consoles her. Days later, while working in the factory, Junior starts thinking about his journey to space. He leaves work immediately and drives to Henrietta's workplace. Surprised to see him, Henrietta asks what the problem is for him to have come to her workplace. Junior then tells her that he was thinking about his journey and he remembers all the little things he's going to miss. He then tells Henrietta to follow him and they should go somewhere to spend some quality time together. Henrietta tries to convince him to wait till after her work hours, but Junior insists and she agrees. They got into the car and drove off. They drive through the deserted flatlands and forest. They found a shade where they both lay down, romance and make whoopee. After this, Junior runs after Henrietta in order to collect his pants that she took, playfully while moving towards the truck. Getting to the truck, Henrietta sights a horse and walks to it and then pats it. Junior looks towards the direction in which the horse came and sees smoke and he starts running towards it. Henrietta runs after him, screaming at the top of her voice, telling him to stop. Junior gets to the bond that was burning and attempts to run into it, but he is stopped by the men who were burning an old bond. Though, he broke his shoulder tendon because of the struggle he had with the men trying to rescue him. Junior wakes up with so much pain in his shoulder and a part of his body dormant. Henrietta rushes to him to calm him down. Junior tells Henrietta that they are in danger and need to inform someone about it because some men tried to harm him the previous night. 
But Henrietta explains to him that he was the one who tried to run into fire, and asks him why he wanted to do that. Terence explains that he was operated on due to his injury the previous night, and he hopes it is not an intentional attempt by Junior to avoid his going to space, which might have consequences after which Henrietta gives Junior his medicine for the shoulder. At dinner, Terence then reassures Junior that Henrietta will not be alone. He explains that Altamar has something very special that will keep Henrietta company while he is away. Henrietta becomes furious because despite the fact that she is sitting right there with the men, Terence continues to refer to her in the third person. Henrietta asks why Terence is not asking her how she feels about the whole thing. Terence continues with his observations of Junior. He even follows Junior to work and records every activity of Junior at work. Back home, Junior undergoes a series of physical and psychological training as instructed by Terence. He asks Junior about his marriage to Henrietta explaining that Junior's replacement needs to know everything he knows in order to keep his marriage safe till he returns. After the session, Junior goes to the basement to join Henrietta, who is playing her piano, even though Junior does not like her playing it because he stops her every single time, which is the reason why the piano is in the basement. One afternoon, Junior overheard Terence's interview recording of Henrietta. He traces the audio back to Terence's bag in the guest room. Junior goes through the bag and finds various pictures of Henrietta's body. Junior then notices the camera Terence placed in the wall which overlooks their bathroom. Junior then removes the bandages from his shoulder and finds out that there is no stitching of any sort. Junior then goes to lie down and sleep. Junior wakes up in time for dinner. After dinner, Terence and Henrietta sit in the living room chuckling, laughing and singing together. Junior comes into the living room and sits down. Henrietta stands up to go meet him and play. Junior then tells her that he does not want her and Terence talking together alone anymore. Hearing this, Henrietta leaves Junior, changes the music, and walks into the kitchen drinking and dancing all by herself. Terence and Junior then go in for their session as usual, where Junior pours out his mind to Terence about things he has seen and experienced especially at his workplace which no one seems to care about. Junior gets really angry, gets up from his chair, shouts at Terence and starts punching the wall. Henrietta runs upstairs to the room banging and hitting the door but Terence did not allow her to come in. When Junior finally calms down, Terence releases him to go to his room and wash off the blood and sweat all over him. After his shower, Junior gets into bed with Henrietta. The following morning, naked on the bed, Junior is telling Henrietta that he wants them to go somewhere together and start a family when he gets back. Junior tells Henrietta that whatever decision they want to make, they have to do it together, and Henrietta accepts. Later that morning, Henrietta and Terence go out with the truck. Junior cleans his blood on the wall and pours it out on the farm. Junior sits against a tree in the farm drinking a cup of coffee when he sees someone watching him from afar. Junior gets up and rushes into the house to get his gun. He goes back into the farm and starts chasing and shooting at the person he saw. Getting closer, Junior discovers that they were Altamore soldiers. The soldiers get on their space shuttle and fly off. Junior calls them cowards as he continues shooting at their shuttle. Out of nowhere, someone pinches Junior in the face twice and tags him with a tracker. Junior wakes up later at night and heads back home. At the front door, Henrietta and Terence just arrived and Terence is talking to an officer that he will get his things and start going. Junior hides and watches from afar as the two go inside the house and the officer drives off. Junior sneaks into the house and starts hearing his voice playing on a tape. Junior sneaks into the bathroom and peeps through the hole he found the other day. He sees Terence talking to Henrietta. Henrietta is talking about leaving and going to another place that has life, people and music there. Terence asks what it would take her to leave and she answers and says courage. Henrietta says she would rather leave a letter for Junior instead of trying to justify her reasons for leaving him. Junior then enters the room and tells Terence to leave his house. Junior accuses Terence of wanting his wife and that he is planning on keeping her company after he leaves. Henrietta tries to explain to Junior what is really going on but Junior passes out. Junior then comes in and hugs his wife saying he had missed her. Terence comes in and takes them to where Junior's replacement is being held. The replacement is an exact replica of Junior. Terence explains that the replica has been in Junior's home since the day Junior left to live in the station. The replica was activated by the headlights of the car the night Terence drove into the driveway that night. Terence explains to the replica that he is not real. Terence tells him that they did not know that it will be capable of falling in love, since all the memories it had other to the real Junior. Terence tells the replica that he has given the world a gift and they will continue to write about it for a long time. Then the replica is packed into a plastic sheet. Junior and Henrietta try to continue with their lives like nothing happened, but things are not the same. Junior was not happy with the fact that Henrietta had a series of sexual encounters with his replica, and Henrietta tries to explain that she sees Junior in it. She tries to convince Junior that they should leave and go somewhere else, but Junior refuses claiming that the farm and house is his inheritance and he can't just get up and go. Then rain starts falling. Henrietta rushes into the rain with so much happiness. She calls on Junior to come, and she tries to pull him into the rain. Junior falls down in the process. Henrietta tries to help him up but he pushes her away. He gets up and goes into the house. Sadly, Henrietta goes to the basement and plays her piano after which she destroys the piano. The next morning, Junior woke up and could not find Henrietta. He sees the letter she dropped for him. 
He opened it and found the pages of the letter empty. Junior starts looking for her. He goes to the farm, his own place of work, and even the diner she works at but still could not find her. He goes back home to prepare dinner and sits at the table alone. Minutes later, Henrietta comes in and sits at the table. Junior is happy to see her and Henrietta assures him that she is with him. After dinner, they go to the bedroom and have adult time. Next morning, they both sit outside drinking beer and having fun. Then, the real Henrietta is shown sitting in an airplane traveling someplace else. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.